Today we've got a black floral kitchen clock, hand painted flowers on it. The clock was working and it stopped. So we're going to take it to pieces and see what the problem is. That's the movement. The pendulum is very jerky. So we're going to investigate and see what that is. It has a beautiful rod sound when it strikes. First thing we'll do is remove the hands. Put them away for safekeeping. It'll come off easy. Cut my fingernails under it. All right, we'll have to use a puller on that. We'll use a hand puller to remove the hour hand. Slide in under the base of the hand. And then we'll screw bolt down on top of the minute arbor and it sits like that and we slowly turn it down and it lifts the hand off easily as that unwind it put it aside that's the hand remover now we've taken the hands off, we'll remove the movement from the back of the clock. Got screws, we'll undo. One, two, and that round the shade. Three, fourth one up the top here. That will allow us to remove the movement. Which we'll put there for the moment. Right, now. Screws away so we don't lose them. And then we can have a look at the movement. A quick look, we can see what the problem is. The escape wheel is not turning, it's catching. Right, we'll put that on test stand and have a look at it. That seems to have freed the escape wheel up. I'll re-oil this movement. 
it hasn't been serviced for a couple of years. We'll put a drop of oil in each of the bushes. The large pivots look all right. We'll just put it in the the small pivot bushes. So all that that side. Turn it over. Do the same on this side. about that. Now I'll put the movement onto a test stand so we can check it out and see what's happening. To there. Right, we'll start with the movement under the test stand. First screw. Uh, we'll attach a bead amplifier to the movement which will make it easier for us to hear when the movement is in beat. Put that there. Lift it up. We'll start the pendulum swinging. Now, 